five miles long and his looks were hard to beat as he sauntered down the street it was beautiful to see his work at every gate his work at every tree the city dogs looked on amazed with deep and jealous rage for to see this simple country dog the pillar of his age he watered every corner too he never missed a post for piddling was his masterpiece and piddling was his boast now just to show the other city dogs, he did not give a damn. 
He walked into the grocery shop and he piddled on the ham. He piddled on the onions and he piddled on the floor. And when the grocer threw him out, he piddled through the door. <laughs> now outside the city dogs were debating what to do. So they decided the holy carnival to see this stranger through. They showed them all the piddling posts they knew around the town and started off with many winks for to wear this stranger down. But Peter was with them every time, with vigour and with vim. A thousand piddles more or less for all the same to him. On and on my noble Pete, and watered every sandhill, till all the other city dogs were watered to a standstill. <laughs> on and on my noble Pete, with his left leg kicking high, while most of the other city dogs lifted their legs and piddled mighty dry. <laughs> then Pete an exhibition gave of all the ways to piddle, like fancy flips and double drips, and now and then a little dribble. The city dogs did not growl or grin, and Pete piddled out of town as he piddled in. The city dogs said so long, Pete, in piddling you defeat us. But little did they know, Pete had piddling diabetes. <laughs> Brought glory, glory to your heart. Though March winds blew, the crowds in pain to watch you turn to hero. And black stairs men who saw you then still speak of you in love. On garments green where you have been, they tell what they saw. We watched you.
Yeah.